President Trump calls for unity between Republicans and Democrats during a speech at the congressional picnic. One America's Connor Howe has more on the event. Crowds gather on the south lawn of the White House, decorated to resemble New York's Central Park, as President Trump offers a message of unity. The President and First Lady Melania hosted the annual event Thursday, where the Commander-in-Chief had an opportunity to briefly mingle with lawmakers and discuss legislative issues. The President spent a large portion of his time, however, paying his respects to Majority Whip Steve Scalise, highlighting the bipartisanship and unity displayed following the June 14th shooting. Scalise and three others were shot at a baseball practice the day before the annual congressional baseball game. In the wake of the incident, attendees of the game showed their overwhelming support, raising a record $1.5 million for several charities. At the dinner, the president expressed his amazement with the unity displayed since the shooting, also giving a positive update on Scalise's health. It's been amazing. The recovery is going now well. For two days, I was saying it's really tough. But today, I can report things are looking very, very good. President Trump said he managed to visit Scalise in the hospital and told attendees Scalise's kids were given a special tour of the White House before the event. He also thanked the two Capitol Hill officers who were shot in the incident for their life-saving actions on the field. The president, inspired by the recent solidarity in Washington, said although there's differences between the two sides, he hopes prior wounds can heal for the good of the country. It's our hope that this unity that was displayed that evening can maybe continue to grow and thrive between Republicans and Democrats. And I think, honestly, I think we'd all be doing a lot better. And I know the country would be doing a lot better. The president also said the nation's leaders owe it to the American people to come together and create the, quote, optimistic future the country's citizens so richly deserve. Connor Howe, One America News.